Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. And uh, it's game five of the 1919 World Series. And the Reds, who are down 4 nothing, have taken a 5-1 to one lead. And all in this inning, let me tell you a little bit about the inning. It's top of the sixth. It's one nothing White Sox. But Eller, the pitcher, leads off with a walk. On the mound is um, Williams, Lefty Williams. And then Roth is going to lay down a bunt to the third baseman. He's going to bobble it, and everybody's safe. So that's going to put runners on first and second. Daubert comes up, and he he squares. Bunts to the pitcher. Both runners move up. Grow to load the bases intentions, and, and to set up the double play is intentionally walked. And then uh, Roush walks on a 3-2 pitch to drive in the tying run at one apiece. And after that, uh, he drives in, of course, the pitcher. And then after that, there's a single that drives in two runs, right, because uh, that uh, the bases were loaded. So a single by Duncan drives in two two runs, and that puts runners on first and second. A wild pitch is going to put runners on um, second and third, and then it's Cop with a single. He drives in one, and then it's Neal with another single. He drives in another. Right now, it's the score stands at 5-1 to one Reds, and we have a pitching change. I don't let my pitchers go more than five runs allowed. Uh, it's going to be Erskine Mayer, who's going to be pitching now. And here he comes. One way of doing that is, uh, well, you can do a new pitcher with a different color. You can do a green color. Like that. That tells you there's a new pitcher. And uh, it's going to be Raritan with uh, runners on first and third. Infield uh, in at the corners. We're going for that double play. And it's going to be a 2-5-6. 2-5-6. I think he's a struggler now. A struggler now. He's patient. It is rather than patient. He is not. It's going to be infield drama. So we're going to drop two. And it's a 2-5 on infield drama. A second baseman, Iron. Second baseman, Collins. Uh, Eddie Collins is not Iron. So that's a no. And it's going to be otherwise, it's uh, a ground out. It's going to be a fielder's choice. And a run is going to score, unfortunately, on a fielder's choice. And that is going to be run number six, or rather uh, batter six. That's going to put runners on first and second. Now the pitcher Eller's up. He, he started off this inning. Eller started off this inning with a walk. All right. So here's the pitch to Eller from Erskine Mayer. And that is a 2 5 5 and a 2 5 5. A star. Erskine Mayer is not a star. Home run king, no, it's a fly out to left. So it's a fly out to left field. And that will, my friends, end the inning. Wow. And that took a while. What we're doing here is at the end of each inning, we're doing this line cross. And that was the end of the sixth inning where they picked up one, two, three, four, five, six runs. Six runs, they lead it by a score of six to one. So six runs on one, two, three, three hits, and uh, one, two, an error, and three walks. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's going to be leading off is uh, Nemo Leibold leading off. Here's a pitch. And that's a 126, and that's going to ask me if he's fresh. He is. That's the line. And caught. L4. One out. Eddie Collins is up next. And that's a 236. 236. Uh, control. Double control. He's not double control. Uh, Pitcher batting, no. So it's going to be a base on balls. So it's a walk 
to the number two hitter, Collins, Eddie Collins. I want to, next I'm going to play the, I think I'm going to play the uh, Mets um, um, playoffs in the 1999 season. I've got Ray Ordonez at shortstop. He's gold. He's, he's lights out. Weaver's up. Buck Weaver, here's a pitch. That's a 134, 134 gold catcher, no champion. Buck Weaver is not champion. It's so 134. It's going to be outfield drama. So we're dropping two. And that's a 2-4 on outfield drama, 2-4. And that's a center fielder gold. No, otherwise, and ball slips through and drops in for a single. And that's going to take us to chemistry. So a single on two. Runners will advance. Uh... One base. So first and second, one out. Here comes Shoeless Joe. Shoeless Joe. He's um, walked, and he grounded into a double play. No, sorry, I was looking at the wrong guy. Shoeless Joe doubled, and he hit back to the pitcher. So let's do this. We're, we're rolling two on the chemistry chart, and that's a two-three. Pitching team harmony, no. Otherwise, it's a base on balls to walk. That loads the bases. Pitching coach is going to go out. Happy Felsch is up with the bases loaded. Infield is looking for the double play. That's a 4 5 6. 4 5 6. Patient. Is he patient? No. Is the batter patient? No. So it's a fly out to center field. I believe this is going to be uh, yep, a sack fly. Center field. Drives in two, and he scores. On the sack, I could also put down the, the batter who drove him in. That helps a little bit as well. That was number one, two, three, four, five. I actually put it down here because he scored with a little arrow saying he scored on a five. All right, so that's two outs. And next is Gandal. Chick Gandal. Here's a pitch. Chick Gandal with a 355. And a 355. It asked me if he's struggling. No, champion. It's a ground ball. As he's a whiffer, he's not. And ground ball to third. Picked up by the third baseman, Grow. And that's the end of the inning. So, the end of the six. So, I write that six on the side there and I put a line. So, one run on one hit in that inning. We go to top of the seventh. Score is six to two. And see what happens with the Reds coming up. It's going to be uh, Maury Rath leading off against Erskine Mayer. So Erskine Mayer came in there uh, after after five and a third. Here's a pitch to Wrath. And that's a one, two, three. It's going to ask me go flash and fresh. He does not flash. That's a no. It's going to be grounded a short unless it's a red one. It's not. Then it would have been an error. So it's uh, going to the top. So we're right up here. G6. One out. Daubert. Oh, 133, and that's a slugger. Now it's a fly out to left field. Backing up is the left fielder, Shoeless Joe, makes the catch. Two down. Here's Heine Grow. And it's a 245. Ask me if he's a hero. Heine Grow, is he a hero? He is a hero, and he rips one to center field. Well, left center field for a single. That's his second hit of the game. Nice thing about this scorecard, it's big enough so you can put the offense like hits on and walks on the right and outs on the left. It's easier to read that way. Roush. So a two out single for Heine Grow, and here comes Roush. With a three, four, five, and a three, four, five iron catcher. Ooh. Chicago with an iron catcher. Shock. I don't know. No. Okay. So three, four, five, no iron catcher. Good eye, Heine. He is a good eye, so that should be a base. Oh, check swing. Let's do. We gotta go to the umpire chart. 
for the runner on first. Runner on first. Um, we're rolling two dice. This one to the side. That's going to be one five. It's respected umpire at home. Yes. Call third strike. And that ends the inning. And that's uh, seventh inning stretch. So no runs, one hit. Score still six to two. We go on the bottom of the seventh inning. It's going to be Risberg, Chalk, and Williams against Eller. Eller's starting to tire here in the seventh. This is when you start. Okay, it's a three, four, five. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. Does Eller have an iron catcher? Let's see, Raritan. Uh, no, he's not an iron either. Uh, good eye is no, it's not a good eye. So it's going to be a strikeout. And we're going to go to the right now chart. It's a fun chart. So strikeout for Risberg, and it's Ray Shock with a right now chart. Here it goes, and it's a four five. It says, is he a cold batter, Risberg? Let's see. Uh, no, not Risberg. Shock. Shock is not cold there, and he hasn't struck out. So that's a no. Otherwise, it's a grand out to first. So bounces out to the first baseman. I just write G3. That's all. Uh, I write G to the to the, the to the and the uh, fielder that it's hit to. I don't always. I don't put like six three. That doesn't make any sense to me, because how is six going to make the out if it's not a pop up? I mean, he's going to run across the field and tag the guy. You know it's the three, so why waste ink? So here is uh, the pitcher, Mayer. He's going to bat with two outs. And that's a 2-2-3, two, two, and a 2-2-3 two, two, says, well, no slugger, utility. What is Mayer? He is utility. So two two three, it's a line out. Is he a whiffer? He is. He strikes out. So new pitcher, Mayer strikes out. That ends the inning. That's the end of the seventh. Score is uh, no runs, no hits in that inning. Score is six to two. Reds. We go to the top of the eighth. <clears throat> Ed, is it Ed Roush up? No, it's Duncan. Pat Duncan against Erskine Mayer. That's a 246. And the 246 control. He's semi control. The side of the says no. Eager or Sat Sack? He's neither. It's going to be a base on balls. He's going to walk Duncan. On it first. Larry Kampf is going to bunt, and that's a one. It's going to either be an error or a single, and it's an error. Who's the error on? I roll a d6. It's a three, so it's on the first baseman. So it's going to be a sack, but it's going to be an e3. So that's another error. That's two errors by the White Sox on bunts. And that's going to move, move the runner to second. Put the little S there. And now it's Neal. Greasy Neal is up with a runner on second base. Here's the pitch. And that's a 2-4-6. I could have swore I, I rolled that already. He is control. No, he is semi-control. The side dice says he is control on a 2-4-6. It's a ground ball to the pitcher. And... Uh, Ground ball to the pitcher. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do um, a bullet. He advances and uh, blank. He does not. And it's a blank. So he does not. He holds the second base. G1, two out. Here's Bill Raritan. And it's a 4 5 6 and 4 5 6. Patient. 
Raritan is not patient. It's going to be a fly out the center. It's going to take us to chemistry. So F8, that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, a walk, one left. And after seven and a half, it's 6-2 Reds who are down 4 nothing in this series. So they're back. The Reds are back. Okay. And here comes top of the order. Leibold, and he's going to roll two dice because we are on team chemistry. And uh, one four, and uh, batting team dissonant. No, it's a single. So he checks swing, and it's a Texas leaguer, San Antonio leaguer. Leibold is on it first. Here comes Eddie Collins with a three three five and a three three five. So he's wild. No, sat sack. Not wild, not sad sack. It's a single to right. Runner to third. And he's he's gonna steal second. So he singles, goes to second on a stolen base. Libel goes to third, it's second and third, nobody out. Uh oh. Some movement in the bullpen. Here's Weaver. And that's a 2 2 2. Holy smokes. 2 2 2. Ask me if he's Weaver's a sad sack. He is not. And that's going to be a drive. That's going to be a drive in the gap. That's going to roll to the wall. It's going to be a double. Runners advance one base and singles, two bases on doubles. Oh, and, but they're second and third. So that's going to be two runs. And he's going to drive in one and two. So I'm going to write that there. Drives in two there. He's on at second base. Both these runs score thanks to three. Little arrow and three. Tells you what batter drove him in. And the score now is six to four. Holy smokes. And it's shoeless Joe Jackson. Wow. So they're back in the game. They they beat the Reds here, and that's it. That's all. So let's do it. Here's a pitch. And that's a 135, and that's going to be an event, a blue event with runners on second. So it's a uh, an umpire event with a runner on second base. We're throwing the dice, and that's a one three. It says questionable umpire at home. No. Other umpires called ball four, and that's going to put runners on first and second and put the tying runs on base. Okay, so he becomes a struggler. He's allowed four consecutive base runners, so we're going to have to go to the bullpen. All right, it's Luke K coming in to Happy Felsch with runners on first and second. Nobody out. It's going to be a bunt. He squares on a six. The six, I believe, is a roll again, and it's a two this time. It's a pop out. Runners hold. And we'll say it's a pop to the catcher. Uh, Gandal is up. Chuck, Chick Gandal. There's a pitch from Luke K. And it's a 166. And a 166 says, Workman, no, Whiffer, Luke A, starting in semi control. That Whiffer, 166. It's a ground out to third base, and that's going to be a 5 4 3 double play. They turn it. And that ends the inning. Wow, that was good. That saved them big time. So hard hit ball right at the third baseman. Gro goes to second to Rath for one. Back to first double play. Ends the inning. And that's the end of the eighth inning. So we go to the ninth. So two runs came in there. Score is 6-4 now. Two runs came in on three hits and a walk. Go to the top of the ninth. Reds. Eller. Well, um, you know what? I never did a double switch. Oh, wait, I did do a double switch. Catcher Wingo is in that ninth spot, and the pitcher is in the eighth spot. So let's grab Wingo. He's right here. And let's do this. Good pitch, and that is a 1 1 6. Fresh, he's semi fresh. The side of that says no, so it's a utility or sad sack. Window is neither. 
It's going to be a no, oh no, it's going to be a line drive base hit to left. So he rips one to the opposite field for a single. Wing goes on at first. He's going to get a, a square out of, uh, he's going to square to bunt, uh, wrath. That's a six. That's a roll again. And that's a six. That's a strikeout. So fails to move the runner over. Nice pitch by Erskine Mayer. And here's Jake Daubert. And that's going to be a 166 again. Workman, blah, blah, blah. Whiffer. You're not. That's going to be a ground out. 5 4 3. They turn it. And it's going to take us to experience to lead off the bottom of the ninth. So no runs, one hit. 5 4 3 double play. It goes Weaver Collins to Gandal. And it's going to be Risberg leading off the bottom of the ninth. Last licks for the White Sox, who are up 4 0. The Reds want to hold on to keep their hopes alive here in this 1919 series. Here's a pitch from Dolph Luque. That's a 2 5 6. And then a 2 5 6. Oh, no. I'm actually on the experience chart, remember? Sometimes I forget those. So I've got to throw two, and that's a 4 5. Four, five, six, prospect batter. No. So it's uh, hard, hard to field grounder. It's going to be to Rosemary is a righty to the shortstop. Nice play in time. Just got him on the grounder. Here's Ray Shock. With a two, three, five. Two, three, five says wild, no, eager. Is shock eager? He is not eager. Two, three, five, eager. It's a ground ball to second. Unless he is patient and he is not. So it's four, four, three, two out. Then we have to bring in a pinch hitter here. Shano Collins or Shano Collins. He's going to pinch hit. Let's write him in here. Collins, bottom nine. With two outs. Big pitch for Dolph Luque. That is a 2 3 6 and the 2 3 6. Con double control, no pitcher batting, no base on balls. Ouch. Oh boy. Hope this is not going to be a two out comeback. That'll end the series. Nemo Leibold now. And here's the pitch, and it's a 1. Five six, and that's going to be Whiffer. Libel the Whiffer. He is not a Whiffer, and it's outfield drama. Oh boy, the excitement continues. We're going to roll a die here, two dice. We're going to drop two d six, and that's a one four on outfield drama. Right field gold. So right fielder is Neil, and I can almost guarantee you he's not gold. Yeah, he's not gold. So that may drop in. And it is otherwise he drops in for single, and that takes us to red. It takes us to experience. So on the on the one, he's going to take one base. So it's a single for libel. That's his third single of the game. So this guy can hit. At least today he can hit. And here comes Eddie Collins. Oh no, we're we're doing two again. We're on the uh, player experience chart, I believe, right? No, we just rolled on that. It was a one. We just rolled on the. No, we are on player experience. So here goes. For Eddie Collins. And Collins is an icon. We rolled a 2 6. And 2 6. Icon pitcher, Luke is not an icon pitcher, so that's going to be a single over second. And on the two, active runner will score from second, but I don't think Mayer. Uh, it wasn't Mayer. Um, Collins. Collins is not active, so bases are loaded. But wait, on a two, his choice run into uh, runners advance one base, so the active runner score on doubles. Okay. Oh, from second base on any hit. 
Oh, active runners, yeah. Active. You got to be active, otherwise you're not going to get the benefit. So now the bases are loaded. So the tying runs are at second and third. And go back to the original chart, and it's Buck Weaver. Here's a pitch from Luke, and that's a two four five. And the two four five is asked me if Luke, uh, if Weaver's a hero. He's a semi hero. Decided that he says no. So it's going to be a pop-up infield, and that's going to be the second baseman, Rath, calling for it, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. The Reds have come back, and the White Sox strand, the base is loaded. So no runs, two hits, final score, 6-4, Reds. Let's look at the hits. Easy, because they're on the right side, right? The hits are all on the right side. Otherwise, it's not a hit. Uh, you got three hits here, one here, and another one here, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits. Any errors? I don't think they made any errors. I think they. That's one of the. I think probably the first game where there were no errors by one team. And then the hits for the Sox. That's five right there. Here's another one, six. Here's another one, seven, eight, and nine. Nine hits. So it's six runs, seven hits, no errors. Four runs, nine hits, two errors. And that's the ball game, guys. So they come back, and the game, the, the series is four to one now in favor of the White Sox, Black Sox. And uh, what else can I say? History Maker Baseball, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. See you soon. Watch game six. I'll probably bring it in later in the game. I'm not going to go through the whole game uh, simply because sometimes I get out of, out of whack. If it's a close game, I'll bring it in as soon as I can. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Remember to uh, join Universal Baseball Association Facebook group for more fun stuff like this. Take care. I, I wish you guys the best.